Hello again. It's another Anxiety United video. It's an honest review of the Lumi body clock, which is a wake up light, and they're also referred to as dawn simulators. So what essentially this is, you set the alarm when you go to bed, and in the morning, the light on this gradually increases to mimic natural sunlight and sunrise to wake you rather than a horrific alarm sound. So there is actually science behind the Lumi body clock wake up light and the science is that your body recognizes the increase in light and then slows production of sleep hormones like melatonin and then increase hormones that help you get up and go and face the day. So although obviously this is Anxiety United and I'm always eager to find things that will help with my mental health, my general mental health and well-being. So I'm not looking th at this as a cure for anxiety. This is not a product that's going to have some kind of miraculous effect. But one thing that I do know for sure is that my sleep patterns and lack of sleep and, you know, light sleeping and disturbed sleep has an effect on my anxiety the following day. So my hope is that in using the body clock, I'm actually going to notice a difference. There's a few settings on this and one of the settings is that you can activate a sunset so when you go to bed you can put it on and it'll take like 30 minutes for the light to dim to an eventual off and then hopefully you'll be asleep or near sleep and in the, in the morning if you've set the alarm for say 8am this will start a gradual increase in light for 30 minutes preceding that 8am alarm call so you can have it with an alarm sound or you can have it without so my intention is to obviously use it without and see if the light helps increase the feel-good chemicals for when i wake in the morning so i'm going to run through a few of the settings on here i'm going to plug it in switch it on have a look because i've read a few reviews online that say that the thing's complex but there's only three buttons on there so i'm going to read the instructions i'm going to have a look how the bulb goes in i'm going to show you how it goes in so you can get an idea of how this whole thing works we're going to put it together we're going to plug it in we're going to go through settings and tonight when we go to bed not we i mean me i'm going to put the put the light on use it and see how i feel when i wake in the morning that's the plan it's going to be a week long scientific project with me as the guinea pig. Join me. So upon opening the box for the Lumi, you actually get the Lumi device. Should we call it a device? I'm going to call it a device. You get the bulb, which is specifically for the Lumi light, and you get the instruction manual. So to open the Lumi and put the light in, basically grip the base of the light and just pull the top off. It clips off. It's not difficult. Well, I didn't find it difficult anyway. So anybody that says that it is, is talking rubbish. Trying to open the bulb box with one hand, as I'm doing, which is proving to be rather difficult. But I've done it. Bulb's there. It can only go in one way. You put the bulb in. Screw. Screw the bulb. And then reattach the lid. <laughs> Without breaking the loomy light. There you go. Even I made that look simple. So that's it. The bulb's in. The plug's ready to go in. I'm going to plug it in. I'm going to run through some settings. I'm going to have a look. As I say, I haven't actually switched the thing on yet, so I don't know any of the settings. And I want to do this blind because it's only fair that I get to go through these settings as anybody else would that's purchasing. So I've read that people have found the instructions difficult. So I'm going to try and find out for myself and I'll share them with you and then hopefully you won't find them difficult if they are when you actually make a purchase if you do if it's worth it be sure to stay tuned because I will let you know it's an honest review okay so I've had a quick look through the instructions I don't, I don't think this is going to be that difficult but I may prove myself wrong so to get up into the setup menu once the things plugged in you press and hold the center button for two seconds you get set a appear on the display so this set a is the actual alarm so we're going to press the minus button to take the alarm back to when we want it to get us up in the morning so 
let's go back. So I want to wake at 8 a.m. in the morning. That's my plan. So I'm going to press. So now we're on to set C. We need to actually set the time of day that it is now. So the official time of day. There you go. It's 12.57 p.m. afternoon. Press the button again. Then you can choose between 24 hour or 12 hour. Where I prefer a 24 hour clock. So we're going to stick with that. On or off is the beeping sound. So if you want the beep to accompany the light in the morning. Put it on on. If you don't want the beep. Off. Low and off is the screen display from what I've read so you can have the low light or you can have the screen actually off so you can't see the time on the display while you're asleep you ain't gonna see it anyway to be fair but just put it on low which means that if you do wait during the night you can have a look at the time and that's it ladies and gentlemen so if when you get into bed at night you would like the sunset effect you press and hold the plus button until the light emits its brightest possible light obviously when it stops getting brighter once you're there you press and hold that for like a second literally the alarm time displays the clock now displays the sun will set so over the course of the next half an hour the light will begin to dim and when it gets to half past one on that clock I will be fast asleep if however you would rather not have the sunset effect you can simply lower the light your alarm's still on you can see very very dim light I can barely make it out myself but that's because it's daylight that the sun is still lit on the screen there so that means that the alarm is still on so if I want to turn the alarm off press and hold two seconds one second even the alarm is now off so when it gets to half seven in the morning the, the light's not going to get any brighter basically so the sun display means that the alarm is on and you better get up out of bed once that light is bright and that's the plan so i want to set the alarm the alarm's on the light dims tells me what time my alarm's set for so i'm off to bed and i'll catch you in the morning whoa it works so it has been way longer than a week I think I've been using this for about three months <laughs> so like it's taken a little bit longer to put this video together but here's a thumbnail you can use that as I say I've been using that for about three months and I religiously use it every single morning like I set the alarm it goes off at half eight, or it doesn't go off. It starts coming on at eight o'clock, and by half eight, the light is at its brightest, and then for half an hour, it stays on and goes off at nine. Like at nine o'clock, it just switches off. But by that time, like half an hour of having the full light on is usually enough. And it does actually make you feel more refreshed. And I'm not being paid by Lumi to say this. I honestly think that this is a good idea. Now, I don't know whether it's had any effect on my mood, on how I've been feeling. My sleep patterns have been a bit all over the place. But I think that's down to like Christmas. You know, people have late nights. We've had people round and like it's been late. I've been playing games on PlayStation and stuff. So I've had quite a few late nights. Now, there's two major things from this project, the review that I've been working on. So number one is that the best feature for me on the Lumi light, the body clock start at 30. And there'll be a link in the description to like an Amazon affiliate that if you want to buy one, buy one. If you want to buy it somewhere else, go and buy it somewhere else. Wherever, wherever you can get the cheapest product, you can go to the Lumi website. I'll put a link to that in the description as well because they do various different lights, different alarms and all kinds of different features and that. This is like the basic one. I think it's the cheapest. But as I was saying, the best feature bar none for me Forget the morning, when you get into bed, instead of putting like the big light on, big light on, or putting a lamp on, and then having to, I don't know, you're reading a book or whatever, wind down, then you've got to switch your lamp off. The best thing for me on this is getting into bed, putting the light on full, and I will make a point about the controls as well. You put the light on full, set your alarm, 
get into bed and for half an hour the light just gradually dims. It's the sunset feature and that for me is the best part of this lamp. So you just put it on, you put your alarm on, chill and then like after 15 minutes the light's half as bright as it was and then for the last 15 minutes it's just gradually winding down and to unlike you start closing your eyes and you're relaxing and then the next time you open your eyes it's friggin pitch black and you haven't had to switch that light off and I think that is a massive I don't know whether you can get lamps that do that like normally is there normal lamps that you can get that dim on their own and switch off because for me the sunset feature on that Lumi body clock is the best part so the other point that I was going to make is that I've been using it that much and saying that it, I've had a positive effect from getting to sleep. The only problem that I have with that is like if my missus goes to bed before me and then I go up, I can't get into bed and put the light on full blast because she'll be like, morning. So that ain't going to work. But when we go to bed at the same time, I put the lamp on, put the alarm on, and it's, it's cool, it's relaxing. For half an hour you can just chill. Like you can read a book and then after 20 minutes you can barely see the pages. So you put the book down, you spend the last 10 minutes relaxing. It works. And it works that much that this was the second point, is that I actually bought my dad one for Christmas and told him, like the sunset feature, use it. Because he has a lamp on, he uses an alarm clock, stuff like that. Well this is, this is perfect. It's perfect in the fact that you don't have to switch it off because it does it itself. Now whether the benefits, as I was saying before, I don't know whether I felt like major benefits in waking up in the morning, but I do feel fresher when I've been waking for the last, I was going to say like the last few days, but it really has been because I've been having late nights, I've been tired. But like I get up to take my son to college and I use the body clock every morning. I use it even when I haven't got to get up. And sometimes I'll just sleep through it. So I don't know whether that's a good thing or not. But if I focus my attention on the light in the morning, it definitely has a positive effect. It makes me feel, you know, I'm ready to get up now. I'm awake. So that's the review of the body clock, pretty much. Oh yeah, I was going to mention the controls. I've seen a few videos since I've had the body clock. I've seen a few review videos on YouTube and that of people saying like you need to keep the instructions and it'll take you a few weeks to get used to the controls and stuff. Wow. I mean, it is not rocket science. Literally, I read the book and you could see in the stuff that I was just showing you, like from whenever it was, probably November, maybe before. We're now in January. I read the book, looked at the thing, didn't think it looked that difficult. Went up to bed in the evening, plugged it in, set the time, did the do, and I legit have not had to look at the instructions or anything again. It is so simple. Anybody that says that it's difficult, I don't know. I don't know what you, I don't know. I, I, okay, it is simple. I'm no genius. It's easy. And if you find it difficult, watch my video. Like bookmark the middle section where I go through the controls because that is it. It's as simple as that. You can set the alarm, you can set the clock. 24 hour, 12 hour. You can have the light on dim or bright and you can have the alarm sound on or off. And then, once that's done, you can either put the light on or put the light off. Okay. That's the end of the review. The Lumi Body Clock Starter 30. And this is the box you receive. Nice. You get the bulb, you get the instructions. Plug in. Plug and play. I'm off to bed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button. Leave a comment. Try the Lumi light. Seriously. And if you're going to buy one, use the Amazon affiliate below. Or don't. It makes no odds to me. Just try things. I'm working a lot on self-care at the moment. If you've managed to get to the end of this, check out. There's going to be videos, a whole bunch of them, for the 28-day challenge. I don't know why I'm pointing up there, because they're not going to be up there. But 28-day challenge, which is 28 days of self-care and pushing your limits and, you know, loads of different things. Physical, mental, challenges. Nothing too crazy. We're not 
jumping off the Eiffel Tower. We're like reading a book for an hour, trying a bit of yoga, doing a bit of meditation, maybe going for a walk, eating healthily. So it's covering a broad range of topics, 28 day challenge. <gasps> That's it, I'm done. Lumi, body clock, check it out. I think it's well worth it. You might not. It doesn't cure anxiety, but I don't think it claims to. But it's definitely had a positive effect on me. So, worth the small investment in my opinion. Ta-da!